More and more people are using video conferencing software to deliver lessons, meetings, presentations, etc. And I've had a number of people ask me, can Teleprompter Pro for Windows 10 be used in conjunction with these tools? And the answer is, yes, of course it can. And I'm going to show here how I personally configure Teleprompter Pro for this exact purpose. So the type of conferencing app you're using is irrelevant to this presentation. You could be using Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Adobe Connect, Skype, whatever it may be. But let's just assume yeah, I'm using Microsoft Teams here, but this could be any of those tools. So you'd position this and, and resize it to a comfortable size so that you could see all your participants here that you're delivering your presentation to and have all your normal tools that you will use day to day. Now let's open Teleprompter Pro and get that configured. So the first thing you would do is populate the script of what you're going to be saying, what presentation you're going to be doing. Okay, I've already done that. Now, my webcam on this particular machine is located at the top of the screen. So if I was to just read this now, for one, I wouldn't be able to see my Zoom client, my Microsoft Teams, whatever it may be, because I'm obliterating it. But also my eyes would be looking down, which is not a good look for a presentation. So to try and alleviate that, the first thing I'm going to do is minimize the tool. And you can see I've already resized this to a comfortable size. So what I would do, I would, I would minimize this as much as I could so that my eyes, when I'm reading the text, are as close to my webcam as possible. To assist in this, I would also now change the side triangles. The side triangles are indicating when you should be speaking the line of text. I will now move those to the top. So I've got a, a view there, and this is when I'm going to read in my text. So my eyes now are close to the top of the screen and close to the webcam. But I still want to alleviate the left to right eye movement. What I suggest you do is, if possible, sit you know, as far back from your monitors as is comfortable, that you can still access your mouse and whatever you need to do. And this will naturally alleviate some of your left to right eye movement. But what can we do in the application to stop this? So the first thing we've done is resize this. But you can't resize too much because it will get very uncomfortable as these shrink to a small size that, you know, you might want, you might find this size is comfortable for the menus. You can easily click, play, pause, skip, etc. But the first thing we're going to do is change the text alignment to center. So now I'm forcing all the text to the center. But now, imagine I still want to narrow this down. I can go into settings and using the line width option, I can pull my script into the center while still leaving the rest of the interface at the appropriate size, okay? The next thing I will do is choose a comfortable size for the distance I'm sitting and let's try this. So, welcome to today's presentation on how to use Teleprompter Pro for Windows 10 with your choice of video conferencing software. So there you can see that was quite a comfortable scroll speed for me. Uh, so I would probably leave it at that, but you could fine tune that. But during the presentation with no extra hardware, you can still use your mouse to play and pause or you can use your space key to play, pause, okay? But what I suggest is to allow you to sit a little way back and also so that you're not, you're not distracted, uh, purchase one of these. They're incredibly cheap, a presenter mouse. It's fully configurable within Teleprompter Pro. So using a button like this, you can skip back the text, skip forward, you can configure either of these keys to play, pause, whatever you want to, okay? So then, if the text was getting ahead of you, you could quickly press the button on that remote to jump you back a little bit, or jump forward, or play and pause, okay? And there you go, so you can deliver a nice presentation without forgetting your text, keeping a nice constant flow, 
So this could be ideal for delivering a lesson plan, a lesson to someone, or uh, doing a presentation, a, a, a keynote, or anything. Okay, so I hope you found that useful, and uh, have a good day.